the chef Devin Rajkumar. Yeah. <laughs> soup, soup, soup. Now, we've gone, if we go back and rewind a little bit, okay. I had an issue with soups. We all know. I called them dirty water. I said that they were a waste of my mouth. I've grown up, I've evolved, I've come a long way, and I'm kind of now stepping toward my soup era. So I love that a lot of people are thinking about making their resolution to have less waste. Absolutely. And that's something you do all the time. This is something we should be thinking about all the time. How do you usually, why do you always think about that uh, on the daily? A lot of food is getting thrown out yeah. that we could be reusing. Online, on my channel, I'm doing a lot of stuff with commonly thrown out ingredients. Uh, like we're doing a potato and leek soup right now, a classic one, and yeah. there is waste that is created right. in this recipe itself. Uh, but carrot peels, like I don't peel ginger all the time. Yeah. There's little small things that we can do at home. Also talking about your evolution that you've had, yes. I hope I've been a part of that. Well, it's actually your soups. Like when yeah. I'm at the grocery store, I'm trying to think of things, what's healthy, what's quick, and I know that you're out of the soup game, but yeah. your soups were, a very big part of my evolution, Good. Chef! I'm glad, I'm very yes, glad. Yes, you got me here, but I would much rather have you make the soup live in front of me because it already smells amazing. So we are doing potato and leek, a classic. Yes. Now, what is a leek? And notice how I'm talking and start cooking. This is how much stuff we have to I'll get I'll be your Vanna. Okay? This is the humble leek. So from the Allium family? Yes. <laughs> you do such a good job. Yeah. We have onions, we have garlic, we have chives, we have shallots, and we have leeks. Yes. Now, we only use to cook and break down the white part, the bulb part of it, similar to a lemongrass. When it starts to get right. dark green or dark brown, we don't use it at that point. Okay. So what we would do is chop off the top, mm -hmm. and then this we would take and we'd throw, we're not gonna throw this away. We're not going no, to. No, we're gonna take this and freeze it. This can be, go into our braised short rib. This can go into any soup or any stock or yeah. any chicken soup that you have. So take this, freeze it. Now, Beautiful. for the demo purpose, I'm gonna put this very large leek away. It's humongous. This is also a leek. Okay. Okay, a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit smaller. Right. Again, I'll just trim off the top here. And save it for later. And now what we do for this partic particular application, like mm -hmm. if you're doing crispy leeks, for example, then we would take this and like back at catering, we would take this and chop it really fine. Wow, that's and, amazing. And then from here, what you do is you take this and then you'd flour it or cornstarch it and you have yeah. crispy leeks. Yum. Now for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down a little bit smaller. Okay. And make sure we're not burning anything. Uh, while we're cooking. Right, and you'll now, tell us in a bit why you do not want those onions to go brown. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So when we open up our leeks, these grow underground. So there yeah. could be a lot of dirt in yeah. them. There might so, even be some creepy crawlies. Ab absolutely. Right? Yeah, it's all protein, right? So we take, <laughs> so we take, we take our leeks. Wash and if, them out. If you see any dirt, <laughs> if you see any dirt, then what we're gonna wanna do is essentially just kind of rinse it out with, uh, with some cold water. I'm hypnotized. It's the knife skills for me. You've been watching me chop forever. I know. Almost Has it ten, been a decade? Uh, March is 10 years. Oh my god. Yeah, so you've been watching this for a long time. You know what? I haven't learned anything, but I still like it. I love it. It's fun to watch. So so we have our onions going in here. Uh, we can add some garlic into this as well. Very nice. Now, you brought up a good point just a few moments ago. Is like, yeah. we don't want to caramelize these too much. When you're cooking at home, if you're doing something like a potato and leek soup, mm -hmm. maybe you want to keep a lot of that, you know, lighter color in it. Yeah. And if you're taking the onions very far or the garlic very far, then in that case, your end product's going to be a little bit darker. Right. Similar to like a risotto. Right. You're caramelizing, or sorry, you're sweating off your onions and your garlic. Right. Uh, because you don't want to get too much color and then you get those brown bits. Um, in the, in the end product. You want it to all be uniform color. Absolutely. Nice and light. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. garlic's going in to our party. Beautiful. Now, I was talking about this a little bit earlier. Yeah. When we were cooking with onions and garlic, and just let me get the potatoes in right now yeah, as well. Yeah, go for it. So I'm using uh, Yukon Gold, but if you want to yeah. use russet, I'm just peeling it and getting it in there. When Beauty. you're using onion and garlic, yeah. you know I'm a big flavor guy. Yes. You know I come on the show and I bring like 400 spices when I'm cooking. So many. Trying to scale it back a little bit. Okay. Make things a little bit more accessible. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm doing is using onion powder and garlic powder. On top of the real onion and the real this garlic. This is like using dried mushrooms in a mushroom recipe. You're using a concentrated, intense, dried version of it that yeah. we are rehydrating. Okay, love okay, it. Okay, so we have yeah. onions and garlic in here. They are gonna caramelize, but at the same time, we're using the dried version of it to just like really send that flavor home. It's gonna make all the difference. Layer that flavor. Here we have leeks um, that I carefully chopped yes, earlier. Yes, did. So these are all going into the mix. Now we're gonna give this a stir. Um, a lot of recipes will call for chicken stock. Yep. 
I'm using veg stock today. I think nice. the recipe that, that City Line has is for chicken stock, but you know, use whatever you want. Even yeah. you can even use water in a stock cube at home, like a low okay. sodium or, or an organic stock cube. Yeah. Already this smells amazing. It smells so good. Soup is about layering flavors. Yeah. I can't believe you said dirty water. I'm sorry. I'm okay. just saying this was the old Tracy. The new Tracy's like, mmm, delicious flavor. Soup is so, it's just so mm. warm. Uh, it's comforting. It's easy to make. We can make it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And it's all about layering flavors. That's okay, a lovely so lovely vessel there. It's a beautiful vessel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add some salt. We also have some rosemary that we can add in there. Nice. I'm just going to pull some off the stem. And then same with the thyme leaves. Just pull some off. You don't want to add too much because when we go to blend it, it's going to have all these little bits. You got a couple minutes, chef. Okay, amazing. So we stir this all around. We want to add stock to cover it. And then we want to bring this to a boil. Okay. After, this is... 25 minutes down the road. Right. Okay, so everything's in here. It's cooked. It's all soft. What we do mm. from here is we blend it. To do you want to give us a tip when you're using a, a hand blender? Because I've done this very wrong. Yes, I'm going to show you something right now. Right? We need a tall, narrow vessel. So I'm going to turn this on an angle. Yeah. And I'm going to pulse it this way. You need to have that bottom part covered in liquid. Yeah, the best... <laughs> The, the if best, it's not covered in liquid, it's The best thing you can do is have a tall, narrow vessel. Yeah. And then you're going to blend this. After several minutes of blending, and if you want it really thin and silky, then just use a high-powered blender. Okay. We have the finished product here. Beauty. See, I went and prepped all of this for you so you could see the multiple stages. Can we give it right? up for Chef yeah. Deb? He went and prepped all of the stages. So this is the final product. Mm -hmm. Very silky. Back in the restaurants, back in the catering days, we would pass this through a, a chinois, a fine china cap, just to get oh. every little bit out of it. But this is the consistency that we want. It's it's voluptuous, it's oh, sexy, it's, it's exciting. You know, we're gonna add yes. uh, some thyme leaves on top of this. That's nice. And then classic preparation is to add some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of bacon. And this is our potato oh, that and is leaf such a beautiful soup. thing. I wanted someone to come up and try. Did you want in the green uh, sweater to come? Come up and try it. Can you get out? Yeah, come on up. Come on up. Come on up and try it. Yeah. I have Thank spoons you. here. Oh, you got it? Do you have a spoon? Oh, beauty. Okay, come on up. What is your name and are you a soup girl? My name is Christina and I love soup. My oh my gosh. Here's a spoon. Okay, so try some of that. Are you okay with the meat? Are you okay with the bacon? Oh who's, who's not okay with the bacon? <laughs> Have a have a taste. The recipe is CityLine.tv. It's good, yeah. huh? <laughs>